Hi y'all, welcome to my little channel here on YouTube. My name's Rebecca and today I'll be doing a little home decor refresh slash DIY this floral arrangement I've had for several years. We've been slowly working on lightening and brightening our home decor, as our budget allows of course, and I've been incorporating some blues and whites here and there. Recently, I bought a huge bouquet of blue hydrangeas from my local thrift store and thought if I painted this vase white, these flowers would look amazing in it. Unfortunately, when I finally decided to tackle this project, the white linen chalk paint I had was all dried up. So instead of going to the store, I used what I had on hand, which was the Rust-Oleum gray chalk paint and some folk art antique gold metallic paint. I really hope you enjoy watching my process from turning this floral arrangement from a Tuscan look to a French country kind of vibe. And stay tuned to the end for the surprise I get after I completed painting and sealing the vase. Ugh. Some may say it's a good surprise, some may not. It all depends on your taste. We'll see if this project turns out to be a major fail. Now, without further ado, let's get on with this video. A minute ride made me lose my way. One minute high, knew my life would change And I was hoping that you could stay The city lights were very nice Now, as you can see here, before I start painting, I try to thoroughly clean the vase. But if you look closely at the paper towel, you can see something yellow coming off the vase. While I was cleaning it, I was thinking to myself, man, I didn't know this thing was that dirty. But in retrospect, this may have been a little foreshadowing of what is to come. Stay tuned, and you'll see what I mean. kind of hard to see in this light but if you look closely you can see a bit of yellowish color seeping through the paint here I'm trying to point out the discoloration first with my finger and then the paintbrush I just didn't know what was going on at that moment I was wondering if maybe the face had been rubbed with oil and that was coming through the paint I don't know so I thought if I just do another coat of paint over it that would take care of the problem I'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out
had us way too long You always thought that you were weak But babe, you're wrong Yeah, you Now, after a couple of coats of gray chalk paint and accenting this piece with some antique gold paint to make the swooshes stand out, I took a piece of sandpaper and started to distress the vase. I just wanted the vase to look a little aged in emphasis on little. <laughs> Cause you're a work of art As you can see here, after I distressed the vase to my liking, I took some baby wipes and wiped down the vase as best as I could. Then I took out my Waverly Clear Wax and brushed it on the whole piece to seal it. It takes about 24 hours for the wax to dry, so I had to wait until the next day before I can buff it with a microfiber cloth. Oh how it burns, we barely started on every turn, keep moving further and all of my Okay, we finally get to the part where things took a turn. First off, excuse the lighting in the kitchen. It was early in the morning and my family was in the living room where the camera lighting was still set up. The kitchen's lighting isn't the best, but you can still see that something strange happened to the vase overnight. There's this yellowy orange color that seeped through the paint all over. I wanted this piece to look aged, but not that much. <laughs> Even the gold paint doesn't look gold anymore, just that ugly yellow orange color. If y'all know what caused this, please let me know in the comments so I can avoid this next time. It doesn't look ugly, just old and rusted, which is okay, but that's not what I was going for. I really didn't know what else to do and I actually wonder if the wax I put on this had anything to do with it. I don't show it, but I ended up just adding more gray and gold paint to certain areas of the vase and this time didn't add any more wax to it. It seemed to do the trick, but it's still not what I had envisioned. We are getting close to the end, I promise. But I wanted to show you what inspired me to transform this vase. It's these gorgeous blue hydrangeas that I found at my favorite local thrift store. The sticker said they were $4.04, but there was a sale that day and I bought that whole bunch for only $2. That's amazing because the quality of these flowers, oh, they're 
just the best. I took them home and I washed them with a dried floral cleaner and the look and feel of them are super nice. I also used a few leaves from my floral stash and incorporated some wood flowers and dried flowers from a bouquet my husband gave me on Valentine's Day. Sorry, I didn't include any footage of arranging the florals because I can literally take hours fiddling with the arrangement. I get so OCD when I work on arrangements and if I can't get it to look symmetrical or I think I need some more flowers or less flowers, I just keep messing with it until I finally have to walk away and not look at it for a few days. Is anyone else like that? I just need to remind myself that even flowers in the wild are not perfectly arranged and that's the beauty of them. So I need to stop trying to make it perfect, right? <laughs> Anywho, what do you think of the final product? I do have to say that it looks so much better in person than in the pictures and it definitely added more color and lightened the area that it's in. It's not perfection since it didn't come out as expected, but I think it looks pretty good. Thank you all for taking this little journey with me. You never know what surprises you'll come across when you DIY. Sometimes things turn out amazing and others not so good. Luckily, I think we did good. Anyways, until next time, I wish you all the very best. Bye! Broken bones